All right, welcome back. Now, um, I know I told you during the show today I was trying to take down a few white claws, and I was doing a good job on that. But um, every so often, we're in the Corona Bunker Studios here in my house in Staten Island, New York, and um, the ice cream man comes down the street, sometimes just after two, and I often offer to buy Jess and Nico a cone or a shake or something. Um, Nico's watching his figure, so the ice cream man came a little early today, and I thought... In consideration of everything that's going on out there with the with the racial inharmony and the division in the country, I think I did my part today by ordering a vanilla and chocolate mix to show unity amongst everyone. So I got the double cone with the mix, a little ebony and ivory, you know, uh, it means something. You know, I, tep I typically like chocolate with chocolate sprinkles. So you got a double chocolate with the chocolate dip and the chocolate sprinkles on top. But today, to try to stand in solidarity for uh, racial unity and equality, I got the uh, vanilla chocolate mix double cone. Now, um, we did not mix it up today. We didn't have a Democrat and a Republican, but David Eisenbach did join us. He's a professor at Columbia University, and he's also a presidential historian. We talked about... Uh, Teddy Roosevelt, this is, this is a white president who did so many great things, but apparently that's a problem. And um, Janet's on there, Janet Maderick. Janet, I met um, one of uh, George Santos's good friends, Erin, yesterday. She's going to come on the show and talk about um, animal farming. She's like a big vegan and stuff. She says there's a big story I, gotta, I need to know about. And I told her I need George Santos back on the show again, so that hopefully that's coming. Uh, Leanne Calacurto is there, Susan Rochester Zucconi. All our friends are always following us today. Our Amal's there. Thank you for your note this morning about the uh, jo Dr. Huber is there, my man Johnny Huber. Um, speaking of presidents, um, this just in, okay, and you know our president, when he tweets, Jess just mentioned to me this statement, go big or go home. Um, the president goes big or go home all the time. But he just tweeted this out, okay? Breaking news. I'm told that New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio wants to paint the fabled and beautiful Fifth Avenue right in front of Trump Tower and Tiffany with a big yellow Black Lives Matter sign. Quotes. Pigs in a blanket. Fry them like bacon. Referring to killing police is what they're chanting. New York City police are furious. So the president is going big or go home. He's calling him out on it. You know, they make up these wacko chants. You know, Al Sharpton's famous for this. Hey, hey, ho, ho. NYPD's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. You know, they always come up with these cute little chants that they get everybody going on. Um, pigs in a blanket. Fry them like bacon. And um, by the way, I'm also told by Mr. Softy, my ice cream man, who is a fine young man, works his butt off. He's out there every day sitting in front of my house with that crazy song going. Um, he tells me that um, they've been contacted by numerous racial groups and told that the song, we all know the song. Um, apparently, there's some racist lyrics in Mr. Softy's music track on the trucks. And uh, he told me that he has to order a new song. And we, uh, you know, like, we have to reprogram ourselves to know. I'm like Pavlov's dog. I hear that song from, like, two miles away, and I'm trying to track down a snow cone or a double cone or something out there. But even add Mr. Softy to the list of members of our food family who have been seriously, seriously damaged or killed by this new, um, this new movement for racial unity. Mr. Softy's song, Gone, like Gone with the Wind. Um, great news out of the Supreme Court today. Now, Trump was tweeting last week how, um, you know, maybe the Supreme Court doesn't like him anymore because they voted against a couple of measures that he was for. Um, there's a headline out now, Supreme Court eases path to deport asylum seekers, and the court rules that uh, expedited removal processes comply with the Constitution 
and non-citizens apprehended near the border can be removed without court review, which that's a huge win, okay? Not nearly as big a win as the ice cream man showing up right before I'm about to go play golf because, I mean, if you're going to have uh, a double bacon cheese for breakfast, four black cherry white claws during lunch, and then, you know, a vanilla chocolate twist double cone, uh, I'm not that healthy, folks, so who knows how long I can make it. But I will tell you this, this is great news for our president because a lot of these people say they're seeking asylum. They're really not in danger in their home country. They're just trying to get into the U.S. And under Barack Obama's administration with the catch and release program, they give them a ticket, release them into the U.S. and say, come back for court in a couple of months. Those people never show up for their return date. And they're fugitives, but we don't have enough you know, ICE agents to go out there and track them all down. This is a wonderful development, and the Supreme Court has time and time stood along with our president on immigration law. And you know what? If you're trying to hop my fence to get into my backyard, I have every right to grab you by the shirt collar and the back of your pants and toss you back from where you came from. So enough of this process. People who are American citizens have the right to due process, not criminal aliens who are breaking into our country. They don't get afforded the same rights and freedoms that us lowly citizens get. It's just bullcrap. And thank God the Supreme Court, while they shot down the president on a couple things recently, I agree with them on the transgender stuff. You can't be firing people because they're gay or transgender. And the court made a great decision there. And now the court made another great decision. You're breaking into the country. You're a criminal. You're illegal. You're a the country can throw you out. And they made it a lot easier to deport people. So that's good news. Lots of good news today. Um, the good news for all of us is that uh, tomorrow's Friday. And we all love a TGIF. Um, and uh, we're going to wrap up the week in uh, spectacular fashion. I am now going to head to the golf course. I'm going to meet Fitzy and Danny V and Burke. And I'm going to whoop some butt. And I'm going to be right back here tomorrow. Same bad time. Same bad channel.